Hello my crafty friends, this is Anna. Today I'm going to show you how to make these adorable tags using the My Monthly Hero May 2022 kit from Hero Arts. Before we get into the tutorial, let's take a quick look at the kit. After that, I'll also show you how I store my kits. This month's kit is so much fun. It has a kitchen or cooking theme. In each kit, you get a product information card which lists all the contents of the kit. There is also a four and a quarter by five and a half cling stamp with a versatile tile pattern, a cover die with a kitchen theme complete with the oven, drawers, and shelves, as well as all the food accessories. It also comes at a stamp set with lots of food theme sentiments and puns like made with love, have a delicious day, and bun in the oven. This kit also comes with 12 5.5 by 8.5 panels of cardstock in pink, white, and blue. There is also cast iron embossing powder. I embossed it on a piece of scrap paper to show you what it looks like. They also include a cube of embossing and watermark ink. Last but not least, 10 yards of white and blue baker's twine. I store my kits in these Avery L storage pockets measuring 6 and 3 fourths by 9 and 3 eighths and add a cardstock backing. I insert the product information card in front, then the clear stamp set. As for the dies, I have them in these magnetic sheets. To cut these elements apart, I use a wire cutter. This is from Hero Arts. The cutting tip of these wire cutters are the perfect length to cut the dies apart. After I cut them, I place the dies at the back. This particular kit comes with a cling stamp, so I place that at the back as well with a plastic sheet of the design facing down so the dies do not scratch them. I also wanted to mention that Hero Arts does have these storage envelopes and magnetic sheets in their website. I will link to them in the description box below. Then I label the envelope using a label maker. If you are interested in seeing how I store these envelopes and how I keep track of the contents of each kit, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll be happy to show them in my next video. Now back to the project. Off camera, I made these cute little tags for a baby shower. This one is for an expectant mother having a baby girl. The smaller tag has a design with the oven cut out from the cover die, and the door of the oven opens with a fun pun, bun in the oven. The bigger tag has an invitation, and the cupcake is also from the kit. These two tags are made from just one four and a quarter by five and a half piece of cardstock. In this video, I'll show you how I made these tags, but this one will be for a baby boy, which is the same process, just differs in color of cardstock and ink used. I cut down one of the blue cardstock panels that came in the kit to four and a quarter by five and a half. I placed the tile cling stamp facing up and inked it up generously with embossing ink that also came in the kit. Off camera, I already added anti-static powder all over the panel. Then I take the cardstock panel and gently place it on top of the cling stamp, lining it up at the very edge before pressing it down. Then I take a piece of copy paper and use it to press down firmly to make sure the ink transfers onto the cardstock. I gently lift it up, then I take white embossing powder and sprinkle it generously all over the pan. I tap off the excess powder before taking the heat tool to the paper, starting at the back and moving it to the front. After heat setting the embossing powder, I will cut out the tags using the Hero Arts Infinity Tag die set. Using the biggest die, measuring 2 and 3 fourths by 4 and 3 fourths, I line it up onto the heat embossed style pattern, making sure it's even on all sides. I tape it down with washi tape and take it to my die cutting machine to cut it out. 
I remove the washi tape gently. Then I take a smaller die, measuring 2 by 3 and 5 eighths, line it up in the middle of the big die cut tag, making sure it's even on all sides, then die cut that out as well. For the oven element on the small tag, I use a scrap piece of gray cardstock and do some selective die cutting. After die cutting the oven, I use a pair of scissors to trim off the excess on each side of the oven. What I really like about this die is that it already has some cut lines to follow to make selective die cutting easier. Then I will use another piece of gray cardstock for the back of the oven. This is where I will heat emboss the sentiment bun in the oven. I mounted the sentiment stamp on a mini misty, then I'll ink it up with embossing ink and use white embossing powder. Then, at the back of the die cut oven, I will add a thin line of glue at the very bottom and all around, making sure I avoid the oven door area. I will lay it down on top of the heat embossed sentiment. Open up the door to make sure it didn't stick, then trim off the top. I will also use the tag hole topper die and cut out two pieces using the leftover scrap cardstock. Now it's time to ink blend the tags. Here I'm using the smallest blending brush from Hero Arts. I take splash reactive ink and use it to ink blend. I concentrate the ink blending on the small tag just at the top area. But for the largest tag, I will ink blend all over the sides and also on the inside of the window. I will also add ink blended detail under the area of the top of the oven using a small blending brush. I will also use this to ink blend the cupcake. Then I will adhere the die cut oven at the bottom of the smaller tag. Next I will do some quick coloring using a white gel pen and cool gray Copics. First I will color the knobs and the oven handle with white. Then I will use C4 to outline the oven details.
Then we'll soften outline details with C1 and 0. I will do the same for the cupcake liner. Now it's time to assemble the tags. If you are planning to mass produce tags, you can do all your die cutting first, then ink blend them all at the same time, then assemble. So first, I will adhere the whole toppers to the small tag using liquid glue. Then add baker's twine, which I had doubled up and tied into a small bow. For the bigger tag, I printed out the invitation and cut it down to size. I will center it onto the window of the tag. Then using liquid glue, adhere it onto the back of the tag by placing glue on all sides. Then I will adhere the whole tag onto another tag which I had die cut from white cardstock. I will add the whole topper and the cupcake element for the final touch. To attach the tags onto a gift, I will use these tiny clothes spins which came from another My Monthly Hero kit. You can create these tags for many occasions such as wedding giveaways, birthday party favors, even to attach to baked goods. Just change up the color scheme and sentiments. If you enjoyed my tutorial and would like to see more card making and paper crafting projects, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. You can check the video description below for the products I use in this video or you can check the complete list on my blog, also linked below. In the meantime, have a wonderful and crafty day. Till next time, bye!